Hello, this is Aditya Joshi and this video will be based on last three months revision strategy for NEET. Now NEET is coming very close to you guys. You don't have much time left. So how to denote time, how to plan out things and what will be the ideal study duration and timetable for you guys at this moment. So I've been a dropper. I know everything that needs to be known regarding mental strategies and battles that you guys go through. So I know exactly the amount of stress, the tremendous stress that you guys are in. So first thing first, you need to believe in yourself and it is very possible for you. If over the past few months or days, someone has told you that or that you don't deserve to go to a certain college, that's not true. I don't care where you've been. I don't care the people who trust in you or they don't trust in you. I'm trusting in you. I'm believing in you and you can go to Ames Delhi if you want to. So the things that you need to keep in mind is for three months, first of all, you need to complete everything. You need to cover, uh, complete everything from bio, physics, chemistry to previous year questions. And in order to do that, best thing will be to complete NCRT first because NCRT is the key to everything. Almost 90 to 95% of paper will be from NCRT. But many of the guys, many of the people uh, are unable to answer questions because the questions which they ask are specifically from the very small printed information between diagrams or in between examples and people tend to escape that people tend to skip that so i don't want you guys to do that i want you guys to complete your ncrt so we'll be dividing this three months into three parts first part will be the first month it will be very important and very hectic then it will be the first two months and then the remaining 20 days you get me first we'll focus on the first month then we'll focus on the first two months that means first month with the second month and then we'll be focusing on last 20 days now you must have seen that i have left 10 days in between 10 days between second month and the third month that is because that will be a gray zone that will be a buffer zone for you guys where you can clear your backlogs or you can uh, uh, revise the chapters which you have missed or something so we are leaving 10 days for you guys to have that buffer zone. So starting off with the first month, I need you guys to complete your bio NCRT first. And in order to do that, I need you to complete your bio NCRT within 10 to 15 days. Everything from 11th to 12th. Now, I don't care if you have to study for 12 hours or you have to study for 6 hours or 15 hours. I don't care about that. See, many of us have different capabilities. If I'm able to study a chapter in 30 minutes, that means I already have a strong grasp over the topics and I'm able to uh, absorb the information easily. But many of the students have problem in this field and they sometimes take up two to three hours to study one chapter. So I, so the time may vary, the sitting amount and duration will vary from student to student, from child to child. But the important thing is you need to complete your bio NCRT in the initial 10 to 15 days. Then for the first month, you'll be left with 15 days. In those 15 days, you'll be completing every numerical, every uh, formula of physics and chemistry and that Ratne Wali things like inorganic chemistry, physical chemistry, you'll be revising all those formulas, important diagrams and uh, important, uh, I think, every flowchart and stuff that you need to muggle up. You'll be doing that in the remaining 15 days. So in one month, you will be completing your physics, chemistry and bio, but you'll be completing your bio NCRT and for physics, chemistry, you'll be focusing on your tuition notes or the notes that you made yourself. Now coming over to the second month, now you'll be focusing on NCRT of physics and chemistry. Now, a lot of students tell me that Bhaiya, we don't need to study for physics and CRT and that is not true because there is a lot of information, a lot of examples and sample questions which has been printed in uh, NCRT of physics, especially in chapters like rotational motion and gravitation. And in order to do those correctly in the NEET exam, you need to have a run through of NCRT of physics and chemistry. Now you'll be focusing first on chemistry and CRT, especially on organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry. Organic and inorganic chemistry, you need to do every chapter from NCRT also. So for the second month, again, we'll take the initial 15 days. Now you'll be focused on physics, physics and chemistry NCRT. Now for the remaining 15 days of second month, now you've already studied for 45 days. First month has been over. Now for the second month, 15 days have been allotted to physics and chemistry NCRT. Now remaining 15 days, what you'll do? 
you will do question practice now for this question practice i need you to focus on sample papers as much as you can sample papers as much as you can and do everything that is in your site complete every question paper that you can find have a setting of 3 hours like you need to have you need to uh, you need to uh, have that setting that exactly mimics the setting of neat exam and you need to you need to have a stopwatch you need to remove calculators remove phone and you have to set a timer for 3 hours and you'll complete previous year neat question papers you'll try to solve them and why i want you to do this one month prior to the neat exam i don't want you guys to solve any question papers uh, when only 10 or 15 days are remaining for the neat exam and there is a very strong belief that i hold which makes me uh, tell you guys these things and that is if for example if your if your uh, if your neat exam is on 7th may and you try to solve a question paper practice paper neat paper on may 1st and by chance by luck you are unable to cross the 500 marks uh, milestone if you are a, if you solved your paper to the best of your capabilities but by chance some question came which went through your head above your head and you were not able to score more than 500 marks and you had aimed to score more than 650 marks now what will happen this decrease in number of marks that you obtained just prior to the neat exam will totally destroy your confidence and i don't want you guys to have any dent in your confidence your confidence and belief are the two most important things that will help your mindset during neat exam now how do you build confidence confidence is built through repetition and practice that's why in the second month i want you guys to have as many question practice as possible there was a time when i used to practice 500 to 600 questions in a day you can do that you have to do that so that you can just run through every question every question and for the past uh, there are a lot of books which have i think past 30 year question papers past 30 year pyqs uh, you can either go through subjectively like physics chemistry bio or you can have mix and match i don't care about that but the main focus should be on having a general idea about the questions so that if a certain question that you have practiced before comes in the neat exam and you and you look at the question you will be like yes i have done this before and my mind knows the way to navigate through this question and get to the answer that's why i need you to have a very very thorough and powerful previous year question practice now 10 days remain right I, as i told you guys after second month you will have a 10 day buffer zone this will be to clear all the backlogs because there are certain topics and chapters which many of us do not like like thermodynamics equilibrium uh, evolution and plant kingdom and uh, many a times people also uh, also try to run away from uh, morphology and physiology of flowering plants so i need you guys to have a thorough backlog check on these topics and these subjects so that you are certain that i have not missed knowingly or unknowingly any topic so for the 10 days you'll focus on anything that has been stuck up in your head or you have compiled or piled up like i'll do it later i'll do it later you'll focus on that and i don't think that there'll be much topics left to be uh, covered in the backlog area because as a lot of time is not left for neat you must have completed your syllabus by now if you have not completed those 10 days will be very essential if you have completed sit for one or two days take up the backlog and for the remaining days run through your question practice again now for the last 20 days you will divide them into 10 days and 10 days now the initial 10 days you will be having a run through reading of previous year questions like yes i have know this yes i know this yes i have done this yes i have done this yes i can navigate it so the question practice should be at a certain level that you don't even have to pick up the pen you will be able to solve this question in your mind and you will be like yes i have done this before and this is the formula that, that i'll use this is the value that nearly i had uh, answered before and everything now for the last 10 days you will focus again on ncert now what i have done is see first we did ncert of bio then we did physics chemistry numericals and formula practice from your uh, notes and everything then we did physics chemistry ncert then we did previous year questions then we did backlog then we did again previous year questions then we did again ncert now what we did is we have sandwiched everything and the thing which is most important for neat aspirants that is covering ncert we have done it three times in three months so this is the best 
uh, I guess strategy that I could create for you guys. Now after uh, wait, I'll just I'll just put a screenshot of this here so that you can practice it. Like you will be able to see I've written everything that I told you guys. Here is here it is. For the first month, I've divided it. For the second month, I've divided it. For the buffer zone, I've divided it. For the last 20 days, I've divided it. And the important thing is you need to believe in yourself. You need to have confidence and you need to know that no matter what happens, this piece of examination will not determine your Aukath. Okay. I know you'll do very well in your neat examinations. All the best.